Hey everyone, oh, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> ah, what am I hung up on? It's a big one. I'm hung up on somebody else's 12 pound test. All right, Corey, we're gonna see. Uh, catapult. Let's see if that pulls it off there. Yes, it worked. <clears throat> Those of you that seen my channel, what am I about to put on? You know what it is. You know what my favorite thing to fish is. I think I like fishing salmon eggs because even when you don't catch any fish, you smell like you just caught a bunch of fish. And that smell just lingers. So it makes it easier to tell those fishing stories like, oh, I caught this huge one. 28 inches long yeah brook trout 28 inches right stack her up on there this is especially effective uh spring runoff i think it, that's probably because what they're eating naturally there we go so i'm just gonna come right down in here and let it drop down to this channel right at the end some structures underneath. Just had a really good bite. Center down again. They're just cast towards that pylon, man. They're stacked up right there. I just had one. <laughs> yeah. Where are we at? I was over at that pylon. Yeah. GoPro went dead, but this is proof. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you want the whole... Did I hook him in the tail? Why is he swimming like that? You did, it's around us. I like lassoed him. Oh no. Keep him. Sure. Hook him up. Alright guys, let's see if we can get another one. Bring it in right there and just let it sit. Oh, don't lose him. Did you lose your bait? Yeah, it's gone. All right, he's trying her again. Ooh, that's the spot, that's the honey hole. Corey, you're on YouTube. Is there anybody you'd like to say hi to? <laughs> oh, are you gonna bite her or are you just wiggling? Let's watch it. Like, Beautiful casting skills. Elbow tucked in. That's a great spot. I'm calling this spot. This is where the fish come from, ladies and gentlemen. The anticipation. These fish have soft mouths. I hooked like six of them today and only got those two. <laughs> a day in the life. Sun's going down. People are catching fish. Yeah, that's what I said. Just reel it in because you're around my line. <laughs> He's on my hook, damn it. <laughs> oh, he is. I still see my bait. Uh -huh. That's funny. <laughs> oh, GoPro's dead. He's chunky, dude. Well, yeah, I've been feeding for the last hour. I'm going to fall in the water. Don't get hooked by my hook. <laughs> All right, might as well keep that guy. He beat him up on the rocks enough. Right. Like he owes your money. The good thing is he's, he's hooked multiple times and wrapped up. <laughs>
And this is what happens. Let me focus it. When you fish too close to each other. Comes a time you gotta know when to cut your losses and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Let's go eat it. All right guys, for this catch and cook here, just gonna take a little bit of butter. Even though we're not roughing it, we're gonna do it like we're roughing it. So I'm just gonna slice up some butter. You wanna use the same knife that you gutted the fish with. So if you're looking at how to gut a fish like this, uh, why don't you check out my other video right up here somewhere. Could be on this side. It's up there. Check it out. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead. This is just some Montreal steak seasoning. It's a lazy man's way of doing things, but it's got a little bit of lemon uh, flavor to it. And then it's got some uh, some onion, salt, pepper, and you know, all the good stuff that you want on your fish. So we're gonna flip Corey's small fish over right here. Nice. And then here's this big one that I caught. Nice. <laughs> But I guess if it's your show, you get to say whatever you want. That's right. <laughs> now, Corey, Corey finally outfished me today. Size-wise, not quantity. <laughs> I only see one other fish here. Hey, <laughs> I let him go. All right, so we're just gonna take this here and uh, just grab another piece of aluminum foil here. press this down and wrap it up. It doesn't necessarily need to be sealed, but you don't want it running everywhere. All right, so we got those right there. And I leave the head and the tails and everything on there just because I find that it's a lot easier um, to bone it out at the end. And I'll show you how that's done. If we get enough light, otherwise you're just gonna see a silhouette of me. <laughs> munching on some fish. All right, so we got those done now. I'm really gonna already stick these on fire. While I'm doing that, I've just got some basic, basic, some simply potatoes here. I find that pre-season stuff just, we are on the road technically. I mean, this is kind of a detour stop, but either way. All right, you just take your Simply Potatoes there. You wanna eat all of them or no? That's a lot of potatoes. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Save some. Save it. Right, again, same butter we were using. Stick those in there. No, no sense in saving a chopped up stick of butter. All right. Throw your trash away. Let's get to cooking. So these are pretty simple. Um, you know, they're already cooked, so we're just gonna be heating those up. There we go. to get some airflow to it. There we go. All right, we're just gonna cook. So I'm gonna cook the trout, um, probably about seven, eight minutes on these coals on each side. And then uh, I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes after that. So catch it whenever we get to that point. All right, so you can see, look how these are doing. So I'm actually using the potatoes because it's a little cold and windy out here. Like Corey got his jacket on little cold and windy out here so I'm using potatoes as insulation on that other side but I'm feeling here it's starting to starting to get done can't keep my finger on it and uh, we had a little flare up burn a little hole but potatoes are gonna be a little smoky it's gonna be fine all right bon appetit thanks for sticking with us this far I mean you didn't get the joy of fishing for uh, two and a half hours just to catch liner 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 yeah it's supposed to be lunch and here we are. Oh, it smells amazing. Yeah. 
Oh, peeling the skin off already. Okay. All right, so you've probably seen a couple of my other trout cooking videos on how I do this. You just lift up on the head and it gets really hot. So you gotta be careful. But when you lift up on the head, you can see it actually pulls these pin bones out and leaves you with a nice whew, trout fillet. So you just take your time on those pin bones. If you find a little, remember, eat at the front of your mouth. Do that. <laughs> like on the old timey movies, right? That you see with the cats and you used to eat those. Whew, it's really hot. Oh, we lost one. Got our potatoes, nice and nice and hot and buttery. What more could you really ask for? Starch and fat. So we're gonna eat. Oh, I got more potatoes than you. I got more fish. Than we're gonna you. have a little brewski here. Cheers, man. Cheers. Seems a little fitting. Class five stout, Kern River Brewing. If you ever get a chance, come up here, check them out. And um, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the next video. Stay tuned.